Unexpectedly, Joe Budden has sided with Eminem in his feud with Benzino. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Budden, who was once a member of Slaughterhouse and was signed to Eminem's Shady Records, discussed the freshly revived rivalry between the long-standing rivals on his podcast of the same name. Maybe, maybe punching down his back. It is evident that Budden is not a fan of Benzino. I'm with anybody dissing Benzino, yo. The rapper turned podcaster said while praising M's Doomsday Part 2 diss song. I'll see him coming out the pool, like on some bodybuilder <laughs> shit. The water glistening off his body trying to be like a seal or some Hey. Uh, old niggas shouldn't do that. He do too much shit that old niggas shouldn't do. And I know he tried to bang that transgender. I don't care what that nigga said. Okay, come on, Joe. I know he did. Button also joked. Now me and him on the same side. Look what you did. Benzino before clarifying. And I don't even have no problem with Benzino, but Benzino do make looking 50 corny. Yo, Eminem should be called Skittle sweet ass motherfucker. Candy. Benzino provided his statement the same evening that Nicki Minaj responded to Megan Thee Stallion. Even though this new song is only 85 seconds long, it packs a lot of big shots into that little time. Yes, Eminem, bitch ass feminine, Maddie like melanin. For example, the media tycoon asserts that Eminem is a drug addict who is a woman. No a custody when I see one. How many times you overdose? Crack around crack. Crack. He also criticizes him for being a culture vulture and a white rapper. Invade our culture, then insult us. Time you get exposed. It's quite harsh and demonstrates his hate for M. As you can imagine, fans are beginning to weigh in on the track and its merits. For instance, fans were quick to say that Benzino may have won the battle. They had praise for the diss track and how he was bringing back iconic rap beef. Can't lie, Benzino cooked that John, one person wrote. Y'all hating this low-key 8, said another. One person even said these latest feuds are the doing of Cat Williams. This is all Cat Williams' fault. Everyone is fighting, the user wrote. After being included in Eminem's most recent jab at her father Benzino, Koi Larry has responded, and it's safe to say that she is not amused. There are few rap feuds as small-scale, enduring, and harmless as Eminem versus Benzino, but some of them are as old as dinosaurs in the business. The two had disregarded one another, cancelled plans, attempted to build a bridge but were unable to do so in a sustainable manner for the last 30 years. Furthermore, Marshall Mathers' most recent criticism of the former co-owner of The Source magazine included his daughter, Koi Larry. Following the backlash to her diss track Doomsday Part 2, took to Twitter on Friday, January 26, to share her opinions on the topic of rap beef a topic she has, paradoxically, never shied away from as it has persisted throughout her career. Rap beef is so washed and tired, Koi Larry told her social media followers, which prompted much to be exhausting, embarrassing, just f***ing over all corny as f I got no issues with no one. I'm so locked in on my grown and sexy vibes. If anybody don't like me, that's something they gotta take on with themselves. Of course, many brought up that she recently feuded with Lado for a hot second before adopting this new perspective. This week, Eminem went back to his old haunts when he criticized Koi Larry and Benzino during his feature on the recently released Lyrical Lemonade album. Now I got a riddle. One condition, you mustn't laugh. It's set to a remix of his iconic role model track from the past, and it takes another shot at the former co-owner of the Source magazine. Okay. What is the opposite of Benzino? Uh, what? A giraffe. Uh. This time including his daughter. Given the two men's rivalry, this is obviously not shocking. But the player's hitmaker was specifically mentioned. Go with his neck, how the fuck is that? How can I go with something he doesn't have? Making this a little more aggressive and loaded than most of the other attacks. Given previous content from M vs. Benzino, there isn't much to see in terms of the bars themselves, though. It will be intriguing to observe if any of them reacts, though. Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. When I talk about all the debt you in, Eminem continued. I hear that you've been creeping on the low in them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Hey, I guess that coil of rape beats in the toilet, eh? God. In 2023, the bear has been awoken by Eminem's detractors. The game, Mel Mel, and Generation Z rap fans who are too young to remember his heyday were all targeted by the legendary rapper after they had all tarnished his name. The song Realist, the debut single for Esmil, a new artist for M and Dr. Dre, featured lyrical retaliation, but Slim Shady stole the show. Dame spent a full 10 minutes criticizing M on his previous album and then declared himself superior to him for never having his songs played in a club. Away from you, one of you ever heard an Eminem song in the club? Game's songs, according to M, only get played in clubs because that is where he is booked to perform and it makes his career a little jelly. M also trashed Mel Mel, 
and they still play your shit in the club Why? it's because you still perform in them who had earlier this year raised his profile by criticizing him for being a white rapper who benefits from the audience's preponderance so now if eminem was just another nigga like all the rest of us m openly acknowledges being a guest in hip-hop on the song a term used to acknowledge that black culture gave rise to the genre but emphasizes how his success contributed to the genre's global ascent he then mocked Mel's reputation as a gym rat by deftly making fun of the idea that the rapper uses steroids. And I'll be the last to toy with a juice head whose brain is like half destroyed like a meteor hit it. Well, there went Mel Mel, we lost his asteroids. Get it? Asteroids. The young whippersnappers of Gen Z who criticize him arguably felt the worst of his wrath some of them weren't even born when he dropped his first studio album back in 1999. And M coldly credited their era for elevating the country's school shootings. Y'all need to stick to what you do best. Shooting schools up, get. Go load up rounds in your parents' gets, and go to class and let off with the strap and go to town. M fumed at the kids. Now that he's not as big as he once was, let's see if irate mothers will let him get away with that line. Rap isn't a sport, according to LL Cool J, but M didn't get the memo because he's out there playing rugby. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.